what are the benefits of exercise? Well, as you know, it makes you stronger, you get in better shape, you can burn fat, and you can get healthier. You know, your entire body benefits from this, including your brain. And I think this is the most crucial part of exercise, the most important. For one, it is a treatment for nearly every mental illness in the book. For one, depression. A lot of people suffer from depression. You know, feelings of hopelessness and su some people even as far as suicidal thoughts. So what happens then is they go to a doctor and they get prescribed with these serotonin reuptake pills which, make, which are very, very, very addictive. And once you start taking them, it is very hard to get off them. And it's not, it's not a good thing because what happens then is that you end up relying on them and sometimes your problem gets even worse. So exercise is a much healthier remedy to treat depression. What exercise does is it promotes neural growth and it reduces inflammation in the brain and it causes your brain to release, you know, it causes a lot of new activity in the brain which promotes a feeling of calmness and well-being. So the more you exercise, the less depressed you'll feel. It's a very, very, very good thing to start doing if you're feeling down. You should start running, get your heart pumping, and you'll start to feel better almost immediately. Exercise is also a cure to anxiety. Well, I shouldn't say cure, but a very, very effective treatment. When you exercise, your brain releases endorphins, which uh, you feel relaxed, calm, and happy when your brain is flooded with them. So when you're feeling very anxious and you start to exercise, after a little bit, you'll start to realize you're feeling a lot calmer and happier. And again, this is a lot more healthy than the medications they give you to treat anxiety, such as Xanax and, you know, um, the other the other types of pills like clonazepam. They're not, these aren't healthy pills. These are very addictive and very strong medications that can cause a lot of problems in the long run. I mean, again, once you start taking these pills, it's, it's really hard to get off them. I've seen countless stories online of people shaking and having seizures if they cannot take their medication. So I don't really see the point in taking that medication unless, you know, of course, you're having bad panic attacks. Then, okay, once in a while, it is understandable to take them. Another um, mental illness that exercise helps cure is ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactive Disorder which uh, a lot of people suffer from. I don't know if I do, but I wouldn't be surprised. Now, what happens when you exercise is it, it promotes concentration and increases flow of neurotransmitters in the brain, which causes you to focus a lot better and more efficiently. So kids, they end up taking these pills. They're prescribed with, you know, Ritalin and Adderall, which do very similar things to the brain that exercise would do but the difference is these pills are addictive and you can't stop taking them once you start taking them yeah you could stop but you'll see your ADHD might be even worse if you stop taking it and it changes it really changes the person who's taking them it causes them to be a lot more quiet and you know more behaved in class it seems as if it's more for the teachers than for the students and look ADHD is a blessing in some senses because it causes you to think about outside the box. You know, all these successful people, a lot of them, I'm sure, suffer from ADHD because if they were on these pills, they'd just be, you know, taking notes, following orders. But the ADHD causes you to, to, you know, to zone out a bit, but in a lot of cases, it's for creative reasons. And... Look, some, some people do benefit from these medications, and by all means, take it. If, it. if it helps you in your life, go ahead. But if you're unsure and you don't really think it's done anything for, me, for you, I suggest you stop taking it, go to the gym, exercise, and see what that does for you. Another big issue that, uh, another big mental illness that exercise helps treat is post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. 
It's, um, you know, it's a mental illness that a lot of soldiers suffer from and people who have gone through trauma. It's when you relive that trauma, you know, you're sitting in the living room, having a drink, having a coffee, and boom, you're back in the war. You're back in the battlefield. And that, those feelings of, you know, panic run through you again. So that is a very uncomfortable mental illness, and I feel very terrible for the people who have to go through it and suffer from it. So to them, I say, look, go to the gym and see what that does for you too. Obviously, nothing can really cure PTSD, but maybe exercise will help treat it. And um, another thing that exercise could help with is your everyday energy. The more you exercise, the more energy you'll wake up with in the morning because your body knows that you're going to be working out. So it causes you, you know, to have a more efficient sleep and to have more energy throughout the day. Which is, uh, I know anyone could benefit from that because we all can relate to the feelings of tiredness in the morning going to school. You know, it's, it's not fun, but exercise will help that. And I think I wanted to touch on these things because when people think exercise, they think of, oh, getting in shape, getting bigger biceps, shoulders, you know, looking cool. And that's, whatever, that's acceptable. That's part of working out, absolutely. But what's even better about working out is what it does for the mind. And instead of taking all these medications, you know what I mean, and messing with your head, changing the chemicals of your brain without really knowing why, go to the gym and work out the way our ancestors did. Our, our ancestors had to, you know, hunt in the field and run all day just to find a meal. So they were, I, I'd like to think that they were much more, you know, calm and happy compared to us now with all our, you know, technology and our instant gratification. So I hope you took in what I told you guys today because, look, we all can relate. We all feel down sometimes. We all feel anxious sometimes. But if you go to the gym... Your feelings of anxiousness, your feelings of anxiety and depression will, you know, they'll be very defi deficient. They'll go down. They'll decrease. Run. Exercise. You know, if, if you don't like lifting weights, no problem. Play a sport with your friends. Go to the ice rink outside. Get moving. Stop sitting down and being lazy because at the end of the day, you're causing your mind more harm than anything.